Guys, hello, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Happy Thursday. Today, very excited for Roman Altaglio Pizza. I don't know, I'm an idiot. Uh, Roman style pizza from Banchi. Very excited, West Loop headed there right now. And today's shout out we're doing, it's a Patreon shout out for Mr. Slippy Jones. He donates 10 bucks a month to us on Patreon, and we appreciate that, Slippy. If you want to sign up, go to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. All right, let's get some Banchi in our lives. Let's go. There it is, Corey. Ooh. Your destination is on the left. Fresh holiday special. All right, you want mushrooms and veggies? Prices that are lower than low. Kroger. And now you'll find more ways to save on your favorite when you download digital coupons. So now. <laughs> Alright guys, our first time ever having Banchi in that box, four different slices acquired, jump cut. I guess you really have no idea what you're opening. Yeah, I got it, but Alright, Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, let's see what we got. Yep. There. God damn. There we go. Whoa, look at that cool looking pizza. Um, so we've got giant pepperonis. We got some uh, maybe some sausage on there. Looks like some mushrooms. And um, yeah, I don't know anything else. I'm, I I don't know the ingredients here, guys. <laughs> would you like me to reveal? Yeah, what yeah, they are? the grand reveal. That was my best guess. Yeah, no, you did a great job. Okay, so this one is the soppressata, so like kind of a cured salami, the closest thing to pepperoni. This one is meatballs in like their house sauce. Cool. This one is fried onions and cheese. Cool. And this one is sausage and mushroom. Cool. You can pick whatever. I kind of picked what I thought the four best ones were. Nice. We could each eat the same thing, unless you don't want these other ones. I'm absolutely not touching those other ones. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do the sausage and mushrooms, and you got the soppressata. Soppressata. All right, Banchi. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the crust. I love the crust. Nice and crunchy. So you guys probably saw the type of place where you pick whatever you want, they weigh it, and you pay that price almost like at a deli, but they heat everything up for five minutes so it's nice and crunchy and mm -hmm. crispy. Mm, that's great. Love the cheese. This is a great crust that I wish they had American toppings for. I feel like that's probably what, because the guy behind me went in there, he was like, do you have anything like pepperoni? And she's like, no, we have soppressata. He's like, what's that? And she's like, it's like a cured salami. He's like, okay. It's not nearly as good as it's pepperoni. It's not the same. It's not, when you're used to pepperoni, mm -hmm. there's nothing I think that it's can like. It's potent for me. Pepperoni is like, you can't replicate it. Like just a good American pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Let me try a sausage. Mm-hmm. Let's have a meatball. Meatball. Mm-hmm. I'll be, I'll be fairly American. Mm, not good. I feel like that was gonna be your favorite. Mm -hmm. This is the one I would get. Absolutely. I almost just got you a massive piece of that, but I thought the variety here was kind of what we really wanted to show them. Yeah, that's the cool part. Yeah. There's like 12 pizzas in there. Oh, there are? A lot of them were vegetarian. When I was looking on their website, oh yeah, that's why, because I ignored all the veggie ones. Yeah, there was a, like half of them were There's vegetarian. There's only like three different meats you can get there. Pretty much. Prosciutto, and they didn't even have that in there. It was really just soppressata, and meatball and sausage today. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of like just ricotta and eggplant and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they've got a great idea, a great crust. Mm -hmm. They just need to figure out how to make it a better idea. Like, yeah, I think they should have bacon. A, I think they should have just like kind of a bunch of American stuff too. Yeah. I guess it kind of goes against the whole Roman idea. But I think, you know, you're in America, be the melting pot of it all, you know? They could probably have some of the best pizza in the city if they just had. You know, I don't care what they want. <laughs> yeah. I want what I want. Yeah. <laughs> you're the customer. Mm -hmm. This meatball's pretty good though. Hmm. So most of these pizzas are $16 a pound, the meat ones. So we got a third. So like three pieces, that was basically like five, six bucks, price okay. wise. So like if you're wondering, you know, it's a little more upscale kind of thing yeah. for sure. It's not a Domino's pizza, but. Yeah, better ingredients, I mean. Right. So that'd be like, so what is like 30 bucks for this whole thing? This would be a pound point three. 
So this would be about a little over 22 bucks maybe. Okay. Not a ton of pizza for that price. I'd say probably on the light end. Right. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's really high ingredient stuff and you're buying it by it. It's weird. It's just a, this is a thing that I feel like I could love. Mm -hmm. But it's so weird. I know. I, I just that. don't get it. I get that. I get the buy the slice. I don't really get the buy the pound. Mm -hmm. I don't get the ingredients. It's just all very Roman. That's the thing. They're not tilting it. Toward... What, are the, what are they known for? Failing? <laughs> the biggest failure? They had it all. They had the whole world and then they blew it. I think so. So why are we listening to them when it comes to pizza? I don't know. Um, Anthony Bourdain, this is on their site. This is He loved this place. This is a quote. It's amazing. You want it. You want it bad. Your life would be so much better if you have this right now. Leave your family, abandon your children, you know you want it. So they used to have regular ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> so when Bourdain was alive, they were doing like, a, you know, just like a sauce, a hot sauce sausage pizza or whatever. Yeah. You touch yourself and you know you want it. This is one of my favorite crusts I've had. I, I really, this, I'm looking at this, it's like, I'm looking at it like such potential. It's that. probably how your parents look at you. <laughs> Man, we had, where yeah. did we go wrong? We had the whole world and then he's doing YouTube. Uh-huh. I, that, that I feel like hand. this is something I could really love. Yeah, I get that. Had they changed like two things. Like priced it like a normal adult and topping, and given me normal adult toppings. It, the crispy crunch, it's so light and airy. It's kind of like is unbelievable. It's kind of like Roman style pizza is close to like how we in America know it is like Detroit style a little bit. It's like thinner, right? Like where all the toppings Detroit are kind of on top. Like yeah, I mean like most of it is just the crispy oh, bready. Nice. Meatball one. Can I try one of those? Yeah, dude. It's like I've got this meatball one for you. That's and by I, far my favorite. Yeah, I feel like I got it. I have. <laughs> I've been out of mushrooms kick, so I like those mushrooms. All right, here's the. Meatball. I feel like most people in there were ordering meatball, which I think confirms your suspicion that if they would have just had mm -hmm. some with American style toppings, they'd probably fly off the shelves. Mm -hmm. they'd, they'd, they'd sell even more of it. I do respect, they don't care about the money, they care about doing mm -hmm. it the way they want to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, people tell us how to do our show. They, they seem to have all the answers. We don't care. That's a good point. And they're probably right. We're the Banshee. But we want to do it the way we want to do it. We're the Banshee of YouTube. Only one other location of these in the world, Miami, Florida. This was a big deal when Chicago got this because this chef is like a big effing deal. Really? That he came here and opened this, yeah. Man, that meatball one is a real deal. That one's very good. Wow. I mean, fantastic overall, though. Mm hmm. Man, that was by far my favorite. Not even close. I'd come here just for that. I'd get all just that. Whole pizza. Yeah, whole pizza with the meatball, 16 bucks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, God, the crust, I mean, my God, some of the best crust you could ever do in a pizza. Yeah, the crust is unbelievable. It's pretty next level. It really is. So the good thing is, though, they do new stuff all the time. Yeah, so like their whole thing is like every day they'll have something new. Every week they'll try something throughout the week that they've never done before. Like they said, they'll change it out dozens of times throughout the day. So if you go in there at noon as opposed to night, you're going to have a whole different lineup. Yup, that's pretty boss. So that's cool. Huh? Truly, it's different than anything else Chicago really has. Facts. So like, I really appreciate that. It's different than any pizza I've ever had. Yeah, it's just, it's really in its own column. Guys, don't forget to like this video, it helps a lot. New video every single weekday. Also, I have a bunch of new vlogs out. Huge California vlog, finally out. Uh, was there for my first vacation in like two years. Uh, a bunch of other fun things that I kind of did in Detroit, in Bowling Green, Ohio, where my fiance's from. So go check out the full plethora of everything that went down on my personal channel, video after video after video. And then also, don't forget to comment on this video here today so we can talk to you guys. Uh, we'll be a what do you think one. is a good comment? I wanted to say it first so you had to come up with yeah, it. Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I didn't want that pressure on me. Yeah. Um, I feel like it, the variety question would be so fun here. So like, yeah, like if, if you, well, I was kind of thinking of it in there. I was like, if Corey oh, does yeah. ask, I gotta have something right in the like in the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. you know? I think that if you, I don't know if we did this for Pizza Friendly Pizza, which was really the only other place we went where you could get like a different square in the pizza. We really love that concept. If you could pick like the most ideal four banger of a pizza, because you want variety, so you get a little bit of everything, what would be your ideal, no limitations, what would your four pieces of pizza be? Pepperoni bacon, pepperoni sausage, pepperoni and uh, what are those yellow ones? Banana peppers. Banana peppers, and then banana peppers and uh, sausage. Okay, I love how much you like pepperoni. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are great. Uh, so comment yours below, we'll interact with you guys about that, that'll be super fun, see all your favorite customization options and things like that. Um, I'll comment because I want some time to think. I'm not as off the cuff like you. you you're very quick. Don't uh, suck up to me now, buddy. Me so corny! Alright, wanna rate the pizza? Yeah. Uh, okay, out of five Coliseums, 
How many Coliseums do you give this Roman Altaglio pizza from Banchi Cori? Uh, I thought that the sausage one was fantastic. If you, or Meat, meatball. meatball one was fantastic. If you come here, I highly suggest getting that. The crust was unbelievable. I don't know why they got like 90% of their menu is veggie. That's dumb. <laughs> uh, the fact that you can't get pepperoni is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. We don't know the price. It's Sounds expensive, so it's but it's hard to tell. It was basically five fifty per three little slices. That's definitely expensive. Then mm -hmm, definitely, um, but it was really good. I think that it's something that you should one hundred percent definitely come and get if you're like live in Chicago. It's so unique and so delicious. I think you have to come and try it. And um, I just got to take some points off because they're doing a bunch of things that I think are stupid. But I still think it's a great pizza, so I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah, it's hard to deny how good that would that be a crust. five if they had good. I know if they had even with the price, if they had good ingredients for me to choose from, and mm -hmm. I could actually mix and match with you know things I enjoy. Yeah, then I would be a hundred percent five. But yeah. they just give me uh, grass and like wheat. Yeah, that I can yeah, put I can't on there. see you eating an eggplant on a pizza. No, you know, or lemon ricotta. No, you know, I uh, when I was in Italy, I you know pepperoni there means like it's like a little pepper. Like they don't eat pepperoni in Italy. So when they brought this here, they were like, you know what, we're also not doing your stupid. American thing, but whatever. I it was fantastic. It really lived up to the hype of the crunch and the crisp and how light and airy it is. Like fantastic. But I do got to agree. Like if you're gonna put this in a city with so many different people trying it, I think you just have a couple on there that are for almost like the kids menu. Yeah, it's a you kids know, menu. Let me have yeah. the pepperoni. I got the little child taste buds. Yeah. Give me what I want. I'm at a Chinese buffet. I'm seven. I want the chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of all this other stuff. I think for little baby palates, you need some maybe some pepperoni mm -hmm. or just some jalapeno sausage. You know, let's put that on there. Uh, but so damn good. I obviously kind of like the mushroom kind of crap, and I probably would have had some eggplant, but that's not for you guys. I don't think you want to see me eat that. I'm going to go 4.4. Wow. I think that's a must try, like you said, if you live here. You got to. It's so unique and good. Here's a question for you. If someone's coming to Chicago and they're going to eat at like three or four pizza places, do they skip this one? No, I think that's because Chicago's so weak on pizza. I think that's absolutely, I think if you're in town and you only got a few places, I would definitely do that. I would I agree. suggest that. I think it's different than everything else. Different you, than everything else. And nothing else it. is that great. I'm not like, oh, you got it. Yeah. This Chicago. Right. None, none of Chicago's pizzas are that amazing. I would 100% say go there. I think that's a spot on assessment. I agree. Um, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video tomorrow back at Corey's at the counter, drink and have something from the frozen food aisle. As oh yeah, Patreon do. only. But Patreon only for the very first time. Yeah, we, we only talked about it once this week. We're having the same amount of videos as we all, we've always had come out, but to see Fridays, you gotta be a Patreon. We'll see Patreon guys tomorrow. I'm gonna be wacky in those ones. So see you very soon. Goodbye.